Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Medicine by Chips. In this video, we are going to do the examination of blood pressure. For the examination, usually we use two kind of apparatus. One is manual and others in, other is digital. For the methods and with the manual uh, apparatus, we use two kind of methods. One is pulsating and another is Figmo manometer. In Figmo manometer, we use stethoscope and in pulsating, we use only our fingers and pulsate it above the radial artery. And in Sphygma manometer, we, we check the blood pressure above the uh, brachial artery. This is the blood pressure apparatus. This is the cuff and this is the bulb and this is the dial. We will place the cuff above the arm, above the, above the elbow, so that the pipes of the cuff are medially and downwards. They are directed downwards. We, then we will inflate the cuff till, um, uh, till there is no sound or no pulse. And after that, we will slowly, slowly deflate the cuff and we will check the blood pressure on the dial. When the sound or the pulse appears, you can see that from the dial, that is your systolic blood pressure. And when again it disappears, that is your diastolic blood pressure. So now we are going to examine the blood pressure of the, of the subject. For this, first we will introduce ourselves and take consent and explain the procedure to the, to the subject. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Dr. Amna and I will examine your blood pressure. For this, I will put the cuff on your arm and your arm should be uncovered. So do you agree? Please uncover your arm. For this, you will place the cuff on the arm so that the pipes are directed downwards and medially. First, we will perform the pulsating method. In this, I will uh, feel the pulse from the radial artery which is below the thumb. In this method, first we will feel the pulse. After that, we will inflate the cuff till there is no pulse. Now slowly we will deflate the cuff. So there was a point when there is no pulse, it shows the systolic blood pressure. For this subject, it was 110. And then again, when there is when there's no pulse, it was the diastolic blood pressure and it was 70 for this subject. Now again, we will perform the sphygmomanometer method. In this method, we will use the stethoscope. In this method, we will uh, put the dial of the stethoscope on the brachial artery up 2 cm above the medial epicondyle. Again, we will inflate the cuff till there is no pulse or no sound. And slowly deflate it. So again, the sound appears on 115 and it, it was the systolic blood pressure and it disappears on 75 and it was the diastolic blood pressure. So as you can see, the sphygmomanometer method is more accurate and more precise. 